everybody, welcome back to my channel. Super excited to bring you today's video. Today's video is a collab video with um, Nikki from A Farmhouse Full and a full-time wife life. This collab was started by her channel. I will link all of their information down below so that anybody who was exploring homeschool schedules could go to this collab and hear some pros and cons of the varieties of homeschooling schedules you'll find um, because that is one of the perks of being a homeschooler is being able to choose your own schedule that works for your family. So today I'm gonna be sharing what homeschooling schedule I choose for my family and my top five pros and um, a few cons that I could think of. Um, so that's what this video is gonna be about. Like I said, it is a collab, so be sure to check out the other mom's videos as well. So let's get started with this video on my homeschool schedule. Okay, so if you've been my ch around my channel a while, then you know that I do homeschool on a year-round schedule. So I'm gonna try to keep this video short, um, so that way anybody who's clicking through these videos can gather information kind of quickly and not sit through a 20-minute video. I could go on and on and on about why I choose to homeschool on a year-round schedule, but for the sake of the video, it's gonna be short, and I'm just gonna roll through the top five pros I feel like to homeschooling on a year-round schedule. So the first one is that you have a more relaxed day-to-day -day schedule. When you um, are on a year-round homeschooling schedule, there is less pressure, even if you don't live in a state where um, governing authorities have completion and dates and beginning dates and all those things, but just pressure as a homeschooling mom to make sure you're progressing and moving along. I found that when I moved to a year-round schedule, I definitely felt more relaxed if something came up, if people were sick, if we needed an extra day or here or there. Reason number two, um, or pro number two, is that you have freedom to vacation whenever you want. You can go in the off season and save your family a lot of money. Um, you're not tied down to just those summer months when everyone else in the whole entire world um, is on summer vacation. Uh, the third reason goes kind of along with that, and I know it sounds funny, but really it's a huge perk in my opinion is you can go places, the museum, the park, the library, indoor trampoline places, um, aquariums, Disneyland, Disney World. You can go to all those places camping and it's not going to be packed full of people. So it's really, really nice to be on fall break when everyone else is not on fall break. Then you get to utilize those places without it being super crowded. Um, number three is that you, uh, when you year round on when you homeschool on a year round schedule, um, your kids don't have a huge three month break um, like in the summer, say from May to September. Um, and it's been proven that there's a lot of loss of uh, retention in what they've learned when they have long breaks like that. So I have found as their teacher and as their mom that I really appreciate being on year round schedule because we don't have those long stretches where they're not learning and, um, and then they don't forget what they've learned um, because they've been on such a long break. Um, another pro to homeschooling year round, in my opinion, is that you can customize your breaks to when the climate in your area is nicest. Um, so if you, in, in my situation, we live in a very hot climate. So being outside from pretty much the month of June until pretty much September is very minimal and it needs to be done early in the morning or in the evening. Um, there's no outside play where we live in the summertime. So it makes no sense for us to have the most free time in the time we can spend the least amount of time outside. Um, so we like to be on a year round schedule because when the weather is beautiful where we are, we can take a week, two weeks and be in nature even if it's just going outside and playing outside, just having that free time when the weather is nice. Um, 
um, especially it can also work on the other end where if you're if you live somewhere that is so so cold in the winter and you can't really spend a lot of time outside then it's kind of nice to do a lot of schooling then and then when it warms up in the spring you, you know you can take breaks there or you know most of your time will be off from May until September um, so it's just nice to be able to customize your schedule for the climate you live in. Okay, now for the cons. Of course, I couldn't think of too, too many cons about homeschooling on a year-round schedule um, because that's the schedule we use and I really enjoy it, but I did think of a few. And the first one is that a downside to it is that when you're, if your kids have friends that are in the public school system, they're not gonna have breaks that line up very often. And that can be kind of hard on friendships. Of course, you can choose to take a day off or whatever, but um, that is kind of a downside to homeschooling year round. Um, con number two is really being in school or schooling when a lot of like kid camps are happening. In my area, the majority of kid camps happen in the summertime. So like a science camp or a summer camp or a horse camp or, you know, any of those things. I wish they were offered all year round, but they're really not just because there's not that many homeschoolers that, you know, utilize those things where I live anyway. So a lot of those things are offered in the summer. And if you're really trying to get a good solid homeschooling routine down, um, you know, you're probably not going to be going to camp here and camp there. So that is another con to um, homeschooling year round. And the last con that I've got for you guys, like I said, I couldn't think of a ton, um, was that your breaks when you homeschool year round generally are shorter, meaning a week or two weeks or a day here or a day there versus a solid like three month time frame completely off of the homeschooling routine. So that could be a pro or it could be a con depending how you look at it. Um, but that was one of the cons that I could think of was that the breaks are usually a little bit shorter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I've given you some things to think about when you're deciding what type of homeschooling schedule you want to use for your family. Um, I'd love to know how you school down below. So let me know in the comments. Are you year round? Are you nine months? Do you have a flow? Um, and like I said, be sure to check out the other ladies videos um, on this topic just to gather other ideas and um, see if something, you know, hits home with you. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.